Chances are you already know the story of the Virgin Mary and Jesus Christ, but what if Jesus' true origins were totally different? According to one theory, over 2,000 years ago, there was a young woman named Mary who lived in the Roman province of Judea who got pregnant after being sexually assaulted by a Roman soldier, Panthera. She was banished from her betrothed's house, wandered the world, and when her son was born, he eventually went to Egypt to look for work. In Egypt, he learned Egyptian religious practices, either as an official initiate or through exposure to the culture, and headed back to Judea as an adult. There, he claimed that he was the divine son of God from a virgin birth. What really happened during Jesus' so-called lost years? Were the accounts omitted deliberately? It's a speculative origin of Jesus Christ that dates back to Christianity's earliest days when it was still considered a foreign cult in the Roman Empire. Pop culture historians like Jason Colavito and websites like the World History Encyclopedia have explored this theory using a few scant pieces of evidence to support their claims. In A True Discourse written between 175 to 181 CE, Greek writer Celsus relates what he'd heard whispered amongst Jewish communities of his day, including stories of the Roman soldier Panthera. But much of the historical data about the life of Panthera comes from his tombstone. Because of the dates on his grave, it suggests that the Panthera buried at the site is in fact the same man mentioned in Celsus's The True Doctrine. As the independently maintained Imperium Romanum website describes, Tiberius Julius Abdes Panthera, sometimes written Pantera, was a non-native Roman of Semitic origin from Sidon in modern-day Lebanon. During the reign of Emperor Tiberius, he became a Roman citizen after 25 years of service in the empire's military. Panthera was the standard bearer of his cohort of Roman archers for 40 years and died at the age of 62. If Panthera reached 40 years of service during the reign of Tiberius, he would have started between 27 and 4 BCE and been born anywhere between 45 and 22 BCE. An article from the collection Greece and Rome notes that scholars generally agree Jesus was born in 7 BCE during the reign of King Herod. At that time, Panthera would have been anywhere from 15 to 38 years old. And since Panthera's cohort of archers passed from Palestine to modern-day Germany from 6 to 9 CE, at a minimum, there was indeed a Roman soldier named Panthera who could have encountered Mary, the mother of Jesus, at just the right time. A blog entry posted on The Times of Israel outlines a potential history of Panthera's life. It claims that the soldier sexually assaulted a young woman, Mary, who became pregnant with his child. No information exists concerning the specifics of Mary and Panthera's relationship, except conjecture about words and glances shared between a teenage Jewish girl and a Roman soldier traveling through her hometown of Nazareth. As the story goes, Mary, Miriam by the Jewish name, was deemed a sota, or unfaithful wife, to her betrothed Joseph when her pregnancy came to light. This made Jesus a mamzer, or bastard. Indeed, various Jewish texts, including the Talmud, refer to a Yeshua ben Pantera, or Jesus son of Panthera, as sites like the biblical website of Dr. James Tabor claim. A bastard son would have been an outcast in Jewish society, which could explain Greek writer Celsus describing Jesus as looking for work in Egypt. Some of the rest of Celsus's writings about Panthera and Jesus' non-divine origin are exceptionally damning. In general, he calls Christian doctrine absurd, its practitioners idiots, and Jesus a liar. So it's understandable why Christians react strongly to the true doctrine and define its account as a polemic. In 248 CE, Christian author Origen of Alexandria penned the tellingly named Against Celsus. The writing disputes the philosopher's arguments point for point. Interestingly enough, the criticism wound up helping to perpetuate Celsus's writings and kept them alive longer than they might have otherwise. This is because Celsus's works have been lost to time. The only knowledge of them exists from Origen's rebuttal, but the full story of Panthera has faded to the fringes of ecclesiastical knowledge. As for Panthera himself, ultimately, we can only say for sure what it reads on his tombstone. He lived, he was a soldier, and he died. Panthera's tombstone was only discovered as recently as 1859 CE in modern-day Germany in the town of Bingerbrook. The tombstone now rests in Museum Rumerhalle in the town of Bats Kritznach, southwest of Frankfurt, waiting for folks to visit and wonder just who, if anyone, he sired.